it is, buddy. It's right there. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. A front row seat to history. A World War II German submarine and an Allied freighter lying at the bottom of the sea sunk more than 70 years ago off the coast of North Carolina. This is really America's only World War II battlefield on the East Coast. Few people outside coastal North Carolina remember the Battle of the Atlantic. A battle that serves as a reminder of how close World War II came to the mainland. Weeks after the attack on Pearl Harbor, German U-boats began patrolling off the coast of North Carolina, sinking merchant ships and Allied vessels. 92-year-old Louis Segal was stationed off the East Coast during the Second World War. After D-Day, we were sailing up and down that coast looking for submarines because they were ripe all along the East Coast. Also, we did convoy escort taking, you know, we'd be protect ships that were in convoys. We had about 50 ships in a convoy, be seven or eight of us destroyers. After the German submarine U-576 sank the freighter SS Bluefields, the U.S. military escorts fought back, sinking the U-boat. The freighter was able to get all her crew off before sinking, but that was not the case for the German ship. All of the hatches are still sealed and closed, so there was no time for the crew to try to get out, uh, which means that it is in essence not only an archaeological site, but a tomb and a grave site for the 45 men who were on board. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration first discovered the shipwrecks two years ago. Last month, a team of researchers got their first chance to explore the site, collecting data to virtually recreate the underwater battlefield. The site is about 35 miles due east of Ocracoke, North Carolina, and the two vessels lie in about 710 feet of water. Segal, the Navy veteran, was invited to join the expedition. It was his first time back in these waters since the war. His reaction to seeing the sunken sub? I saw it and I said, well, that's one we didn't have to worry about. Both vessels have been placed on the National Register of Historic Places. The public will eventually be able to virtually see what happened here in July of 1942. Marina Hutchinson, The Associated Press.